to the side and back. My name is Tokiku Uzuru, also known as Toki, and today we are going to be continuing the daycare story series, where I go ahead and spill some daycare stories that I remember out onto the internet for everyone to be able to just laugh at the misery. A couple of things before we actually get into the rest of the video. One, the quality of this video might be weird because I am filming on a different phone. Two, this video is going to seem rushed, at least while I'm speaking, because I am very irritated on the amount of takes it took for me to be able to film this video. And three, quick disclaimer on specifically the daycare teaser teachers in general. One, I will not be disclosing their names because they at least deserve that. I will be talking about main care daycare teachers. And if you don't understand what I meant by that, the video will, the iCard video, first video I did for the series, go watch it. Now, on to the actual video. We did have good daycare teachers at specific, specifically main care, but they were few and far between and also didn't stay too long. The two daycare teachers that I will be talking about, I will be calling C and M. They were both lazy daycare teachers and they were both pretty bad, but, one, but C was definitely worse than M in my opinion. Now, I have a list that I called my problems with C, and the first one on the list is that they were lazy, but like above everyone else type lazy. They acted like they had something better to do than to be there, doing the job that they were being paid to do. They're also the person that put me in a timeout because I didn't want to participate in playing free stance or whatever you call the game in which as the music plays you dance and when the music stops or when someone stops the music you have to freeze right in whatever position you ended up in. I ended up getting in trouble with her and put into the timeout corner because of the fact that I said that I didn't want to participate and I tried to give her a reason on why I didn't want to participate. She claimed it to be me talking back to her and once my mom was notified of what happened she's like yeah no you're not getting in trouble for that. There is a high chance that whenever C had to watch over the school age kids we ended up watching Men in Black 3, I believe, or Bring It On, which you should not be allowing kids to watch, especially that age. But also, the school ages, the preschoolers would have heard everything too, so that's even more dangerous. And as I stated earlier, they had an attitude that was immature. Now, of course, I'm guessing that at the time, they were in, like, maybe mid to late 20s to, like, very beginner early 30s. But they still acted like a teenager. So overall, in my opinion, they were the worst of two. Now on to M. The first thing that I have on the list of my problems with M was specifically that, of course, was specifically that they mumble, like a lot, and continued to act as if we didn't hear them while they were mumbling. Number two, she was also a very lazy teacher. Less so than C, but it definitely got us into it definitely got us into a lot of different things that we probably shouldn't have been into. 
Like, most of the time, they would be on in some other area of the facility that we were in. And apparently, someone from one of the other sides were supposed to watch us as she as they were not there. Number three, they continuously act aloof. This also goes into them mumbling under their breath a lot. They seemed like they were always on another planet or just not in this realm. This last one, I can't specifically pinpoint like any specific acts on as to why. But like their vibes, M's specifically, vibes, were like off. Like I didn't want to be around them. Now, I didn't have any personal beefs slash issues that I remember with daycare teacher M. So while I have that sense of calmness, I will continue doing the stereotypical YouTuber outro where I as a stereotypical YouTuber would ask you to do the following. If you do like this uh, spewing of random daycare stories or if you want to go ahead and hear more daycare stories, go ahead and press the like button if you want to see more videos in general on like metaphysical stuff and trying to go ahead and heal inner childhood wounds in particular maybe some magic maybe some witchcraft I don't know we'll see I guess go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button and also hit the notification bell so you will be notified of whenever the video is posted Comment below whether you've actually get, gone to a daycare or probably your worst day, your worst general teacher stories. Or anything else that you would want me to do as a video specifically. I have been Tokika Uzuru aka Toki. And this is Toki saying that I'm very tired, I'm about to go fix dinner and Toki out.